Hey there, I am Marina Orms and I'm the founder of Astrology Heals. I have a uh, free moon planning calendar at manifestingwithmooncycles.com and a free membership uh, with lots of cool resources. I also have an Astrology Heals YouTube channel. So if you head over to YouTube and uh, search on Astrology Heals, you can find me and more cool videos like this there. So I hope to, I hope this is the beginning of a long journey together. And I've been talking a lot in these videos about uh, the moon and moon cycles and how they describe ongoing opportunities to align with the available energies. And today I want to talk about something a little bit different. Uh, there's been uh, something going on that's in the news uh, and in people's consciousnesses a lot, and it has to do with the separation of families at the border and the, um, you know, of course, uh, I have all kinds of thoughts and words about it. Um, but what's interesting to me is for us to look at how it affects us in the collective and uh, how it brings up our own thoughts and feelings uh, about compassion and caring and how it brings up some, for some people, despair and frustration with uh, the current political climate. And astrology is such a cool place to turn because uh, it, it provides a deeper insight into what's going on that can help us see the path of empowerment through whatever is happening. So this is just a little reminder that whatever is going on is part of a bigger process of transformation and change. Certainly um, for individuals who are suffering, uh, you know, that's not really consolation in the moment. And we need to address that. And we need to um, do our part to change policies that are wrong and uh, stand up for what's important to us and what we believe in. But you don't actually have to, uh, you don't have to be something you're not in order to solve the problems of the world, right? So we get into this feeling of overwhelm of uh, if we can't, do, we can't do enough, how are we going to fix it? Or um, that it feels so big. So, uh, so there's a trine happening between Saturn and Uranus, uh, Saturn being the planet of authority and authoritarianism and um, rigid structures that are perhaps uh, no longer serving the greater good. And uh, of course, it's about other things too, but let's, let's hold that for just a moment. And we also have that in a trine, which is a supportive relationship or aspect in astrology with the planet Uranus. And Uranus is the planet of the rebel. It's the planet of um, innovation and rebellion and revolution and change. It's also the planet of shock and trauma. And so when you have a trine between two planets, it serves as uh, it, it serves to make things easier between them. So, so it can serve for an authoritarian um, perspective to have more easy way to uh, cause trauma. Um, as an example, uh, that's one of the uh, um, things we can see in the energies. Uh, what is the higher vibration of possibility, the invitation to evolve that is here that we can take advantage of? Um, well, one other, one other downside is that that trine can uh, help us or make it easier for us to feel traumatized, to feel personally defeated, and to uh, go into depression about our inability to change what's not working. So the other possibility here is that these two planets are also telling us that there's a supportive energy for change. And there's support out there for when we find our own inner strength, our voice, um, our uh, confidence in ourselves and our own truth, that there's actually a doorway open here for us to make 
you know, some, some truly revolutionary changes. So um, I don't have a lot of time with you right here right now, but I hope that's helpful to at least get some insight from astrology to help you understand what's going on and to connect uh, with your own, your own Saturnian authority. And so this is doing and knowing and doing what you do best authentically from your own truth, your own strengths. Um, your own inner, inner wisdom and ability to take action in ways that bring outer change and that you're more powerful than you think. So that's the takeaway. I hope, uh, I hope that was the message I shared and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, check me out on YouTube at Astrology Heals. Thanks so much. See you next time.